Good day to you all. Prof. J here again. In this video clip, we will look at voltage and frequency measurements using an oscilloscope. To calculate the frequency of a signal, we need to know the number of divisions per cycle. A cycle is defined as from the peak of a signal to the next peak. It also very much is like the waves of the sea from one crest to another crest. In this regard, there are five divisions. One, two, three, four, five that make up one cycle. These five divisions we need to multiply with the time per division setting, which we will find on the top right hand side of the oscilloscope and we're looking at that black square that black square is pointing at 0.2 milliseconds so the 0.2 milliseconds per division is my time setting is then multiplied by the five divisions which represent my one full cycle this gives me a total time of one millisecond frequency is simply one over t which results in a frequency of 1 kilohertz for this specific signal. Moving to the amplitude of the wave, again, we have it going to a peak, coming to a trough, going back up to a peak and back to a trough and back up, which results really in two full cycles. However, remember, we only consider one full cycle when calculating frequency. When it comes to amplitude, we can use any part of the wave as long as we can work from one peak to the next trough that exists. In other words, from the top to the bottom of the wave. So again, we need to calculate the number of divisions. So there is one full one, two full ones, three full ones, four full ones. This is a little bit over, so it must be about 4.25 maybe. Yeah, also a little bit over, so that's also 0.25, so we can assume that there are five divisions that make up this horizontal position. Those five divisions we need to multiply with the voltage per division setting. Again, we look at the black square on the voltage per division. And if we look in that area there, we can see it is 0.5 volts per division. If you look further on this scale, the millivolts represent this area over here. However, the rest are represented by the voltage sign. So, taking that 0.5 volt per division, multiplying it by 5 divisions, gives us 2.5 volt peak to peak. Remember, from the top to the bottom of the wave. To get to peak, we've taken away 1p, so we've divided by 2. So we divide the value also by 2, which means my peak value is 1.25. The standard factor to determine VRMS is 0.707 RV peak, which then gives me 0.884 volt as the RMS voltage of this triangular wave. Research takes you places and enables you to see the world. I attended the Africon 2009 conference in Zambia to present a research paper. I then jumped into the devil's pool at the Victoria Waterfalls. Please remember to watch the other video clip on the purpose of the oscilloscope. Prof. J, over and out.